Welcome back to Code Creative. I'm Travis Tolson. Today we're taking a look at how to get Flexbox layouts to work with widgets in Service Portal. So a typical Flexbox layout is going to look like this top example here where the contents stretch the full height of the Flexbox. And this is using mostly default CSS for Flexbox. Using a similar layout for widgets, you get something that looks like this one here where the widgets don't actually extend the full height. The width on this last one here is set manually. So let's take a quick look at what I've got set up in this particular demo to get an understanding of what's going on. To start with, we'll take a look at the style sheets, and I'm using just some very basic classes here. The dot wrap class is my flex container, so you can see I've got display flex, and you've got the flex box item, which is marked with the wrap item class. Now, of course, with Flexbox, the immediate child is always the Flex item, but I've gone ahead and added some custom uh, styles here to help it stand out. So the yellow blocks that you see um, are the Flex items, and I've gone ahead and added the Flex Grow. Uh, you see they're set with one in order to get it to take up the full width. Now we'll take a look at the configuration of the widgets. You can see in here that I've got a single container, two rows, uh, a single column on the first row which contains the flex test widget. Uh, this widget actually contains all three items in a single uh, wrapper. So essentially this is what you would expect using the Flexbox layout in a typical HTML setup where you've got full control over the HTML. So you can see the wrap and wrap items are uh, direct parent-child relationship to one another. And we're also able to set the uh, Flexbox item as the, uh, the widget itself. In the second setup, we've got three separate columns to indicate using our service portal uh, row column layout. And our flex items are three individual widgets, which each contain basically the same uh, div with the text that you see in the three individual items in flex test. So the two, the, the two examples are meant to mirror one another as closely as possible. Now, of course, I have to point out that I've marked Bootstrap Alternative on the container. That removes the standard Bootstrap classes so that you can leverage the Flexbox layout. On the second setup, I've also added the Wrap class uh, to that row. And to each of the columns, I've added the Wrap item. Now, when we jump back over to our rendered version here, you can see that there's some clear differences. In the initial example, the flex items are stretching the entire height of the container. And this is all because this last item is being set to a height of 200 pixels. If I disable that, you can see that they grow and shrink to the same size as one another. In the second example, though, that's not happening. And if we do an inspect element on this one, we can quickly see that there's a very significant difference between the two. So down here, we've got the wrap item, which is inside of our wrap. But when we get down to the widget, we have this span and div in the way before we get to this final div that contains the text. If we compare that to the above, what we have is the wrap, the wrap item, and the text. They're straight in line with one another. There's no other nodes in between it. And that's very important with Flexbox because Flexbox requires that your container be a direct parent of your item and that there be nothing in between. So if we take a look here, what you see is you've got the wrap, which is full height, the wrap items, which are also full height. You can see in the highlighted sections that 
it does actually extend all the way down. But our border is unable to extend all the way down because we're actually going farther down the tree. These are no longer flexbox items. So if we want to extend that behavior all the way down, uh, let's take this one as an example. What we have to do is we have to extend the flexbox behavior all the way down. So for example, our flexbox item, our wrap item, must also be a flexbox container itself. But that's not enough because our span has to be a flexbox container as well. And we have to go another step further And now you see that the widget contents had stretched the full height going all the way down. But you can also see that our flexbox items have shrunk up in the width. So we have to go back up to our item. And you remember we put the flex grow on this particular item. So now our span which is also an item, it's a, uh, it's a flex container and a flex item, we have to add the grow to it. And we have to grow this one. And we have to grow this one. And now our content is going to stretch all the way across. So to make this behavior permanent, we're gonna come back to the CSS And we need the wrap item to be display flex and flex one zero auto to set the flex grow in order to make the in order to make it full width. So we can remove it from there now. We need to extend this behavior to the wrap item. with the immediate child span. And we need to extend this behavior to wrap item span and the first immediate child div. So we'll go ahead and save this. And lastly, we need to adjust the CSS of the flex item widget in order to add that flex grow behavior to it. So flex one zero auto, and that'll cause this divs to act as a flex item that will grow. And so we'll come down here and save it. And wait for the little loader. Okay. And now we'll come back over here, refresh, And now our widgets are stretching to the full height of the flex container as desired. So I hope this has helped clarify some of the issues that you might be encountering when you're dealing with Flexbox layouts in the service portal. The important thing to keep in mind is that when traditionally writing Flexbox layouts, you only have to worry about your Flexbox container and your Flexbox item. But in service portal, there are additional HTML nodes that are added to the structures of your layouts automatically, and you need to keep those in mind when you're building out your layouts. So I hope this has helped, and I'll see you next time.